Ladies and gentlemen, and with that, we conclude bout number one. But we have seven more coming your way. And in fact, next is amateur little flyweight class, bout number two. And before we introduce to you the fighters, we'd now like to introduce you first to the referee for this is Miss Hirni Bagya. And joining as the judges, we have Ranidu Manutugararachi, along with Sajivani Disanayaka and Surangika Kumari. And introducing to you from the red corner, representing Dragon Muay Thai, she is the Schoolgirl Boxing Championship Bronze Medalist of 2022, Natushi. And a very quick clarification, Natushi is in fact in the blue corner. And that is Natushi from the Dragon Muay Thai. And with that, introducing to you now the red corner from Harugangketta. She is the 2018 Youth National Muay Thai Championship Silver Medalist. Uh, 2022, the 2019 Youth National Muay Thai Championship Silver Medalist as well with the 2022 Schoolgirl Boxing Championship Gold Medalist and 2023 WBC Muay Thai Championship silver medalist introducing to you Iresha Kumari.
Tiro. First round. Uh, here we start a great round between two accomplished fighters. Uh, we are expecting to see a lot of boxing and it's happening right now. Both fighters have experience in boxing. Good clinch by Iresha. Great control. Uh, Iresha from the red corner is known to have a lot of boxing accolades. Uh, but she seems to be able to kick too. That was a really good straight. It's a great amount of volume from Iresha here. Nitushi on the back foot. She, she is countering though. She is trying to counter with low kicks. Iresha going on the aggression path. Beautiful combinations from Iresha. Two calls. Some clinching. Some good clinch right here. Controlling her opponent's posture. She's controlling the disengagement of the clinch as well. I, I assume that, that was a lot of energy out in the first couple of seconds of this round, but they seem to be slowing down a little bit now. Yeah, the pace is, the pace is definitely up there though. I, I really like the start of this round. It's a good Muay Thai from both. Oh, that inside leg kick hurt a bit. I... She seemed to have slowed down a little bit. Uh... Yeah, and I feel like Netushi needs to keep her hands up because hey, her opponent's uh, experienced boxer. She's going to get punched out if not. Those leg kicks seem to be landing. No one seems to be checking any of the, ki the kicks that are coming out, so... I feel like Iresha is doing a good job with the clinch. She needs to keep that clinch a little bit more and keep continuing her knees. They're very effective. She seems to be jab crossing all day long. Those are all landing. Flush. There was another one. And another one. So the first round ends. What did you think about that round, Pragit? Very, very intense start. I like the start of the round. Good pace. Um, obviously, you could see both both fighters uh, have a very strong boxing background. You could see a lot of punches, a lot of exchanges, uh, head movement, um, and of course some clinching. Um, I feel like uh, you know they could they could play the clinch a little bit more, uh, but otherwise, great striking from both. I think uh, Iresha's uh, jab cross leg kick combo seems to be working. She's been just throwing that multiple times and landing all three uh, pretty flush. So I think uh, that would be taking down Netoshi uh, at, to some extent. I would assume uh, she would want to start checking some of those in the second round or she's going to start feeling it on her lead leg. And she needs to keep, keep her guard up. She needs to keep her guard up when she's throwing a low kick. Seconds out. Seconds out. Second round. Another strong start for the second round. Looking good from both. These have a lot of lot of uh, stamina and like energy in their fight. Wow, look at that jab curl. Like The punch combinations are just amazing. Like, There's Iresha with a good peep and another jab cross. Good overhands by Nitushi, but she needs to keep her hands up to mitigate the damage from the punches. She can counter, but she's taking a little bit too much damage while she's countering. I mean, it's lucky that this is the... An Right, the head guard's really saving Metushi a lot of uh, head damage from some of those jab crosses. We're going in. 
They're going in for the clinch once again. Once again, Nirisha seems to be dominating the clinch. Seems to have superior control in the clinch. She understands how to off-balance her opponent. I wish she holds on a little bit longer and throws more knees, though. Although Hagura and Keta is known for their boxing, it seems that Eurasia has come in with a multiplicity of uh, leg kicks, deep kicks, and also really good on the clinch this time around. I wonder how uh, Netushi is going to reply to some of those uh, in the short distance. Uh, she seems to be struggling in the pocket a lot. Uh, other than the overhand though, she keeps getting that. I feel like that's, that's true with her boxing background as well, because most, uh, most boxers here, they like to throw their overhands as a response to everything. Pretty much. So, overhands are like seem to be like a staple of, of striking in Sri Lanka. So, um, it, it's it's good to see that, uh, and and she is throwing some low kicks in. Uh, again, I wish if the the defense was better, I feel like she will have more of an impact. Let's see how it goes. We're still in the second round. I think there's another round coming up now. I mean, she does have the advantage of standing a ground and landing a really good overhand that might just you know um, get throw uh, Eurasia off of her momentum at the moment, but as it seems, the energy is pretty high and those combinations are landing. And another one. Good counters down the pipe, straight straight shots by both fighters. Seems to be getting through both of their guards. She needs to really watch out with those... Uh, uh, straight punches, they're landing pretty flush at this point in time. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, Netushi is actually doing well with her right straight. She's doing a good, good, good job with her cross. Oh, and Iresha answers with her own cross. Remember, they're both good at boxing. That's, that's their base skill. Uh, that uh, leg kick uh, combination is really good. It's been working for her the whole night. And you know what they say, right? If something works, why, why change it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful combinations from Eurasia, like Netushi struggling, okay, there's the round end. And now we're moving to the third round of this bout, it looks good, it looks good. I am very impressed by both fighters, I have to say, uh, good display of heart from both. Um, of course, uh, there is a certain disparity in skill, but still, I feel like both fighters are giving everything they got in this fight, and, and it's for a good cause as well. Uh, you'd have to uh, give it, give them credit for the energy of the fight. You, it seems like they haven't slowed down from round one to round two. And uh, if if this is the pace they're going to take round three, and we're going to see something a lot of action. And I mean, at this point, it's hard to say uh, who's taken the round because Netushi does have a really good overhand, and there's still some chance of uh, bobbling or rocking uh, Eurasia with some of those hard shots, but. The combinations seem to be working. Second out. Third and final round. Now the third and final round of this bout. It's looking good. Wow, good exchanges from both fighters. Lots of punching, lots of punches, peppered in with some low kicks. I think she's going for the clinch because she knows that she has an advantage, a power, ad a strength advantage uh, in the clinch. And that would work for her to get some points in this round. A great peep again. I like how Iresha controls the enga engagement. She, she only engages in her own terms. Ah, oh, beautiful catch and counter by Iresha. I mean, the pace hasn't slowed down at all yet, and okay, here she goes again for the clinch. It seems to be her mode of controlling this round very well, Eurasia's. Neither she is on the back foot, but she is throwing a couple of her own punches. Uh, let's... I feel like Netushi is right cross, that's, that's the strongest punch, and it, it, it's landing whenever she, most of the time she throws it. I feel like she needs to keep her head up during the clinch, not let her posture break so easily. Uh, that's how Iresha is controlling uh, the clinch most of the time. And uh, yeah, both fighters are given what they have, they're doing great. Iresha's jab, jab cross 
just seems to be working really well. Oh, there she goes again. Oh, but this time, Nether, she's found a second mine. She's going for the clinch herself, throwing a, bit, a couple of good knees. And Iresha is retaliating. That, that was a good exchange in the clinch. Both fighters had almost an equal amount of control in the clinch. Ono taking a little bit too much to the head at the moment. Wow, that combination jab cross leg kick is landing for her all night long. Yeah, that was a very good round, very interesting round from both fighters. Great display of clinching, punches and kicks, good Muay Thai skill. And the winner of bout number two, amateur little flyweight, is Irisha Kumari from the red corner. I would like to cordially invite the first secretary to the ambassador of Thailand, Mr. Pirapat Tonrod, onto the stage to give away the medal. And along with that, the bouquet provided by Lion Power Top Team. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up again for Iresha Kumari.